Good morning and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. It is a gloomy day, but the concrete is starting to dry up. This is the 9th of June, and this is Cinder and her kids. So we decided to bring mom out here today. We're trying to do this in between the rainstorms. We are in this rain pattern right now that it has rained here for three days. Rained all night, rained this morning. So the sidewalk's wet, but it is finally starting to dry out. So Vanessa uh, did weights for me, and these guys are four weeks and three days old. I think that's right. Uh, they were four weeks on the sixth. And uh, so yeah, we're good. Four weeks and three days. This is the first time they've been out here like this. And we decided, of course, best time to do it is bring mom with them. That way she can make them feel relaxed. They won't be scared because there are security blankets here. Cinder says, I'm going to eat weeds while I'm out here. And the grass is really wet, so I did not put a lot of... Cinder, do you have an itchy butt? We may have to shave you. You might have been... No, you might need shaved. Um, we gave these guys a bath, and I'm really hoping they stay clean. But they had a bath this week, um, and toenails were trimmed. And they're really up and moving pretty good. They're doing better than... Oh, that one says I have to go there and piddle. I see a big wet spot. Um, so we decided that we would put him out here and try and get him shot before the, the rain comes. It's a little noisy. We're down in front of the kennel. Um, I do not have new collars yet. I'm hoping when my husband gets home today from Amish country, he has new collars with him so we can put new collars on everybody. So I'm going to go through here and give you microchip, um, numbers and weights and the color of the puppy uh, they have had their already got their first four-way shot or i'm sorry their first neopar shot um the other day we did that uh, on their four-week birthday so that's finished uh, they've had their four-week worming and they're well on their way to becoming little people i can't believe it won't be that much longer and they'll be going to be in the house with us it's crazy how fast these guys grow all right, so we're going to start with these guys. Uh, 8224 is the female. It's black. It's 2 pounds, 13 ounces. And it's following mom right there underneath me. These are easy to tell apart. Uh, 8329 is the male chocolate. And he's right there by the red rocket on the ground next to the black puppy. 8326 is the blue merle phantom, 2 pounds, 4.5. And the phantom is over there behind her trying to sneak in for a snack. Oh, she says, Mom's gone. So that's the blue merle phantom. And if I did not give you the weight on the chocolate male, he's 2 pounds, 11 ounces. I think I forgot to do that when I read the weights on it. All right, let me see if I can zoom in here a little better. Uh, 8327 is the blue merle male. And that one is right there backing up. And 8328 is the Chocolate Merle, which has been very calmly just sitting over here and watching everybody and not getting involved much. It says, I know you're standing there and I really want to see you. Her tail, um, his tail keeps wagging here every little bit when it hears me. So they're really, really doing really well. Um, she's been great with them. They are just really doing everything they're supposed to do. They're eating dry dog food. Not a lot. They're nibbling on it every day, and they do eat a fair amount of it, but not like as a full meal. Mom is still their main source of uh, nutrition, which that's going to start slowing down. There's the phantom with his face. There's the chocolate. Oh, stepped on the squeaky toy. That was not intentional either. I thought maybe she squeaked it, but nope, she sat on it. I was hoping that these guys would... There goes the chocolate merle moving around. Oh, Cinder said somebody's coming outside. Who's coming? Cinder needs a new haircut and a face trim. Her nails done. Uh, she needs a, uh, a whole petty done. <laughs> she needs to go to the spa. Oh, Brittany's coming back out. She says, I see you. Say hi, Brittany. Hi. <laughs> One of Brittany's many trips to the house. 
Seems like we all put mileage in every day, back and forth in the house, back and forth in the house. She's been working on the building where I'm at down here with them, doing all the puppies this morning, and they're doing wormings and toenails and all kind of stuff in there this morning. Um, <clears throat> these guys will come up to the house with us at six weeks and start uh, the weaning process. So it depends on how she acts. You know, we sometimes we take them right at six weeks. Sometimes we hang out till almost seven. Depends on mom. But uh, I think she's going to be pretty much ready for them to leave the nest. I have a feeling. She says, oh, can't see Brittany anymore. She says, I know she's coming back. She's going to stand over here waiting on her. Uh, oh, there we're going to, they're going to go out and see what the grass is. It's a whole new texture. There comes Brittany back. We all forget stuff and we're always back and forth to the house. She forgot bowls. She's bringing a whole armload of stainless steel bowls down this morning. Everybody gets a clean bowl every day and clean water bowl. and So we go through a ton of bowls. It seems really dark out here this morning. It's a little bit gloomy. I'm actually in the shade of the kennel building. I'll lighten that up a little bit. might help. I know. What's she doing? It'll be fun for you guys to watch them this week and then see what they do next week uh, when we come out because they'll, uh, and the grass is hot. We just mowed the grass two days ago and it's already high. Um, but when we mow the grass next week, they'll be out in it and it'll be fun to watch them, how they, how they act and interact with the grass. It's noisy down here. It's always noisy down here when we do chores in the morning. Oh, that would be cute. They all sit still and have their faces pointed this way, but they're not gonna. They're so cute at this age. They toddle and they, this is really good for them. It gets them a lot of exercise out here, running around following mom. So it is good for them to get out here. Um, this is pretty much a normal for a puppy that's between four and five weeks old. Um, they'll start to spend more time away from mom. Right now, mom's their favorite person, and uh, mom really watches out for them. If we take them away from her and she doesn't get to go with them, she has a fit. But um, So when they go up for bath time and things like that, they ha she has an absolute fit. But we did a, I know next week we'll do a hygiene clip with them and toenails again. Toenails are something when you guys get home. It depends on your family. I hate toenails. They ruin furniture. They ruin your upholstery. They get caught in carpet. Um, and if you take them in the car a lot and you have leather seats, you're going to ruin your leather seats. So I'm a big toenail fanatic, but for me, it's more about the eyes. With us, puppies can scratch each other's eye and then get an ulcer. And then we treat it with teramycin. But it's really, it's so avoidable if you just keep these nails trimmed. And plus, if you've got little kids, they're really sharp. I mean, when they grow out for two weeks and don't get trimmed, they're like hawk talons. They're so sharp. And we got a face picture, kind of. So it shows I'm itching my chin. So this is a long itch. Oh, about fell over after that big itch. Um, I've had a couple people ask me about crate size for these guys. So if I haven't mentioned it before, and if I have, um, please excuse me mentioning it again. I would not get anything less than a 36-inch crate. Because um, with the size of mom, you're going to be at least body size close to mom's. Oops, I faded that out while I got dinner. Um, and you want enough room for this dog to be able to stretch out if you're not home there's a puppy it will go to the back of its kennel to go to the potty and if there's not enough room and you get a really small cage because it's a small puppy at the beginning then you're going to have it get feces and urine on its coat it's going to learn to lay in its own urine and it won't care what it lives and walks in or sleeps in 
So it's really good if you can give it enough room to go to the back of the kennel and potty on a paper back there. When you are not able to be home and take the puppy out, uh, or during the day if you're really busy and the puppy can be in there, you don't have to worry about um, what goes on in the kennel. You can just come in and change your papers out. She's checking everything out now. Oh, she says, nope, not snack time, guys. Oh, these two are going to, now they're going to play. The black one just took off a second ago to chase the chocolate one. It's cute when they start to play because they're really awkward at it and they're klutzy. And they fall down. Boy, the birds are noisy out here today. So everybody should have gotten their videos. We've sent everybody's videos out uh, for your vitamin information and your uh, go home videos. So the, big, the biggest thing I can tell you is if there's questions I didn't answer for you on the videos, please just bring them with you. Maybe write them down and bring them with you when you come and I'll be glad to answer whatever I can for you. She says, I know there's good. She loves to eat grass and she keeps trying to reach through to pull in the grass that she wants. Uh, they're a lot more relaxed than they were when they first came out now. I knew this would really help. So next week, they'll be off and running without mom. So next week, mom won't be out here with them. Well, I'm going to get out of here for this morning. I'm going to try and beat these rain, rains in between. We've still got a couple more litters to do. And I want to get all the puppies that are able to be out here and run around I want it to be able to get them done for everybody today so they can see them and see how they're changing see how everything's going with them and uh, hope you, hopefully let everybody watch them play for a little bit and and watch what they're doing so have a good day if you have not booked in for puppy pickup with me please give me a call and let me know uh, if there's a day you'd like to come and I can let you know if there's space available on that day if you're going home by flight nanny if you'll please text me and say, hey, we're going home with a flight nanny, that will help me. We'll mark your book so that we don't bug you about a pickup time. Because sometimes I don't hear from the nannies until it's time for them to go home. So um, that would really help us out if you could just drop us a note and let us know if you're going home by a nanny or not. All right. I hope everybody has a great day, a safe week. We're on hump day today. And the weekend is rolling around soon. So have a good one, and we'll talk to you later.